Hey guys, this is Pwnscraft here, and I'm going to show you a 1.5 overview of the new update. The new update, it's added a lot of blocks, it's added a lot of new things. So I'm pretty much going to show you pretty much everything they added, so let's get started. Okay, first I'm going to show you the redstone comparator. And this is like, it looks like a repeater, but it sort of is like three. And... <clears throat> How to make it? It's right here. It's th it's like a regular repeater, but with a nether quartz in the middle instead of redstone and an extra redstone torch up here. And pretty much what it does is it can either stop or or subtract a signal. So say I have a signal. This is close, so it's a stronger signal. And here I'll show you the uh, the stopping part. So. Say I have a signal over here. If I have a stronger signal from the s coming from the side, it stops the whole thing. But if I have, say, an equal signal, it still goes, or a uh, lower signal, it still goes back. And there's another thing you can do with this. It's the it's more of a subtraction thing. So if I have the higher one here, do you see it goes really far? And if I subtract. Uh, the lower one you see it subtracts this signal from that signal to so say if I have a stronger signal subtract you see it goes a little less and obviously if you have the same signal over here it subtracts all of it because it's the same signal so that's good it would be good for adventure maps or whatever you want to use it for and yeah Okay, next I'm going to be showing you the hopper, and the hopper is pretty much, you can stick stuff in here, and as you can see, it's slowly decreasing, and that's because it's being put into this chest. And also, with this hopper, you can, you don't have to put it in there, you can just throw it in there. As you can see, it's just, it's going into the chest, so it, that would be helpful for, like, many things. I have an example over here which it's a spawner and it's unmanned so you can the pigs they'll drop down here get burnt by this lava and their poor stuff will fall into this chest with the hopper so as you can see they're hopping along here and see they're getting burnt and oh I should probably put a glass block there but as you can see they're getting burnt and their pork chops dropping into here so that's that's helpful for obviously you wouldn't use pigs because you find you'd use like a zombie spawner you found in the wild and that would probably work more with this one because the pigs are only one block high so it doesn't really work very well but it's I think that's cool and you can also connect these hoppers like this so you can throw something in here and it comes down all the way into this chest. So if I drop one in here, if I quickly go to the chest, oh, okay. So I drop one in here, and then see how it filtered into the chest. And that could be helpful for these things too, if you want them to um, say your house is over here. You use connected hoppers to get into a chest in your house. And there's another pig. So. That's pretty cool. They can be used for mob farms, I think. They can also be used for many other things, but hoppers, pretty cool. Okay, next is the dropper. What the dropper does is it looks like a dispenser, and it sort of acts like one. But I'll show you that in a sec. How you craft it is like a regular dispenser without the bow. There's just a redstone right there. It's like a furnace with redstone, and obviously the dispenser is a furnace with a bow inside so these things they're pretty much I mean they would be like as you can see this it like launches potions and stuff this drops them it's just the dropper pretty much and this would be helpful for like adventure maps I would think because if you want them to have the potion for later and you don't want them to go in a chest they just step a button and then boop drops out a potion but as for these, these are more of the launcher. They launch the mob eggs, or they launch the potions, or let's see. If, oh, or the, let's see if we can get the arrow. Oh, and they drop water. 
these guys don't really drop water. And this drops lava too. That doesn't drop lava. And that potion. See arrows. It this and this only drops out. Okay, next is this. It's a little small feature. I mean, it's pretty cool. What you can do is you can actually name mobs. So you have to have the egg, so it wouldn't be good and creative. But I mean, in survival. But what you do is you put it in a uh can't think of the name anvil, and you name it whatever. So this would be uh puppy, and you pretty much name it. It costs enchanting points. That's would and there's puppy. See, but it's if you get far away, you can't really see the name. I don't know if it's a bug or something, and if you like. But it that's pretty cool. I mean, you can name any mob. You can name a cow or a villager. Say you want to name the cow. Uh, let me click it. There we go. Moo moo. And it works the same, pretty much. You. Oh, that's not a cow. <laughs> But I guess our villager's name is Moo, Moo and that's pretty much it. Okay, guys, this is a new block they added. It's called Quartz. It could be found in the nether, and it can be mined with any pickaxe, as you can see here. And it looks like this. And what you can do with it is it's used for decoration except for making things like this. And there's another thing I'll show you you can make with it. And pretty much you can craft it into, like, let me make some quartz blocks, blocks of quartz. And you can also, let me make some more quartz blocks. One more. Okay, with these quartz blocks, you can make uh, stuff like quartz slabs and... Let's go ahead and make us some quartz uh, stairs, and you can make some quartz columns. I mean, pillar blocks, which I will. Sh those are cool. I'll show you those in a sec. So this is a block of quartz. It's pretty plain. I mean, sort of like a lapis lazuli block. And here's a pillar. I find these would be really cool for like if you're building like sculptures and stuff and here's the stairs still pretty plain and here's the the slabs and so with the cords you can decorate stuff you can build other you can make redstone comparators and yeah okay next I'll be showing you guys the light sensor and what this does is it sends a redstone signal depending on where the sun is. So if I uh, set a uh, time set night, it, it, do you see it has less of a signal because the sun is like just setting. So this is how you make it. It's three wooden uh, slabs. It doesn't have to be oak wood. It can be any wood and nether quartz in the middle and glass at the top. And it makes these looking things and these are the light th things and I'll show you over here a little example I could use. This could be used for, like, adventure maps if you don't want it to be night. So, when it turns night, the this gives less of a, a signal here. Therefore, turning on this, making this time set day. So, if I do time set night. You see, it turns on because this is it. Let's see. Let's see. And so that's pretty useful for map stuff. And yeah. okay, next I'll be showing you the block of redstone. This is a pretty much ex self-explanatory. It sends a redstone signal from all sides. As you can see, it turns off this torch because it's sending a signal over here. And powers this redstone. This would be.
be useful for many things. But I'll show you an example over here. Here, let me destroy this. And pretty much, it's a light comparer. I mean, light thing, light sensor up here. And these are redstone lamps. So what it does is when it turns night, the lamp, the sensor stops providing a redstone signal, therefore pulling up this piston, causing these redstone lamps to turn on. And I'll show you that. Uh, set time set 14. And do you see it went up because it's night? And the piston power, the redstone block powers these. I mean, it'd be used for cool lamps and stuff. And that's just one example. It can be, and it's made obviously by a block of redstone. All redstone in this, like a block shape. So that's pretty much what it can be used for. And we're let's move on to the next thing. Okay, this is a new thing called TNT in a. It's a TNT in a cart, pretty much, and. To make it, it's a pretty much just a TNT above a minecart. It can be over here or over here. It doesn't really matter. And you can, and in order to activate the TNT in a, there's these new rails called activators. And pretty much, they are what they seem. They activate the TNT. And to make that, it's like a regular rail, but with a, instead of a stick, in the middle, it's a redstone torch and sticks on these sides. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what this does. It, If you press it, it rolls down here. And then it lights by the activator. And I put a little platform here to show you guys. It doesn't blow up the activators at all. And what happens when you... I don't recommend spamming them because, as you can see, with this trail of ex uh, destruction... Thus, here, let me just put... A block here with if you spam them then they create a big explosion pretty much exploding almost everything and I know you guys want to see that so I'm gonna show you guys that right here so I'm just gonna spam these and you should oh yep there it goes and <laughs> it just explodes everything except for the activators because those stay and as the activators don't activate unless it's redstone uh, powered. So, and also there's these new other minecarts called uh, minecarts with hoppers. And pretty much how you make them is a minecart and a hopper on top. I don't have a chest showing that, but it's a minecart with a hopper on top. And it pretty much works the same as a hopper. You throw stuff in, it comes here, you drop it. But I haven't found out how to put in the chest. I put a, what I did was I made it so it rolls into a chest. And I also made it so a chest in a minecart and a chest in a hopper collide. And I also made it next to a chest. And I can't figure it out. But if you guys figure it out, good for you. Leave a comment how if you can. And so that's pretty much it for the minecraft in a hopper. Minecart in a hopper. Hopper in a minecart. So I'm gonna move on to the cool little pressure plates. And these aren't normal pressure plates. But you see, as you step on them, they don't really s send a signal. So I'm just gonna. How you make this? Okay, so this is the heavyweight one, and this is the lightweight one. They pretty much work the same as. Uh, they pretty much work the same as pressure plates, but instead, they're activated by block uh m like dropping items on them this is a lightweight and pretty much you can start throwing stuff on here and it sends a signal do you see how it's slowly increasing and if i drop the whole thing it powers a lot of it so that's only a set of uh 64 and this one if you throw stuff it barely goes anywhere and so what you can do is, if you throw a set of 64, it barely gets anywhere. As for this, it goes all the way over there. So, this one, it, this one is 
takes a lot more material to get anywhere than this one. So, this is how you craft the heavyweight one. Just two iron ingots right here. And this is how you cra craft the lightweight one. It's two gold ingots, just like the other one. So, let's move on. Okay, this is a trap chest. What this is, is pretty much you can use it for traps. This is, you can, this is a normal chest, and this is a trap chest. And as you can see, it's a little different, a ring. It has like a nosebleed-ish, and this is black instead of red. And pretty much, this sends a redstone signal, as you can see over here. It sends a small one, it, depending on how many players are in the chest. Say you have 20 players in one chest, then it would go on for a while. And this is how you craft one of these. It's a chest with a tripwire next to it, tripwire hook next to it. And I'll show you in a little example over here. This is one I put together. It's not very complex because first off it's not really hidden and it's very simple and when you open it it goes into this redstone uh repeater and sends it off into this piston and therefore pulling it in ah lava so that isn't a very efficient one because you have to refill it every time you it in. but okay so that's most of the major fixes like the blocks, the most of the major stuff. There's a bunch of bug fixes, and they actually added two commands. One of them's uh, effect, and that's the usage right there. So I'm gonna effect, and then my name Ponzor, and effect. Let's say one for the sake of this video, and you can set how long. I'm gonna say 18, and you can set how uh, amplified it is. So say if it's uh, eight. So I just did speed. Uh, eight. So that is how that command works. There's also different. You can set as the time to whatever you want, how fast you can run. You can. There's also other uh, effects that you can give, and the other command is scoreboard. And this is pretty much tells you how many deaths you have, how many kills you have, how, and you can set like how many zombies you've killed, how many pigs, whatever. And this could be used for, like, mob arenas or PVPs. And those are the commands. And there's also, they added a new video setting, which is smooth lighting. They can have it off, which I'll sh sh uh, minimum and maximum. I'll show you those now. Because, as you can see, there's not really a shadow or anything and or smooth lighting. And if you turn it to minimum, you can see that it's sort of a shadow. I mean, it's a little hard to see. And if you turn it to maximum, and you you can see there's a shadow, a distinct shadow. And there's also a shadow for, like, blocks, like, over here and stuff. And so, there's also one more thing I want to show you guys. And this is probably one, a really helpful one to most of you guys. And so, here, let me see if I can pick up. There we go. And so... This is for, oh, I already have a set, but this is for spreading out. So if you want to spread out into uh, six places, it's like that. So you pretty much hold the right, uh, the left trigger, the left uh, click, and you just spread it out like that to as many spaces as you want. And if, and you can also distribute one by one if you want to, fill up a whole chest with it or whatever by holding the right click and spreading it out so this does it one by one if you want to like fill up your whole inventory or whatever and it say it's all over and you want to get it back you just double click here and it just all comes back to you which is I find that really helpful and that's pretty much the video so if you liked it please like this video subscribe this is my first video, so if you could comment some feedback, that'd be cool. And thank you guys for watching, and catch you later.